on that note, I want to talk about the Music Modernization Act. This is very, very interesting. President Trump signed it into existence today. And I have a lot of music industry friends. A lot of my friends in Inner Circle and people that I follow are songwriters. They are producers, engineers, uh, you know, all sorts of music industry professionals. For over a year now, I've seen them nonstop posting about the Music Modernization Act because as in everything in life, you know, we always kind of get the short end of the stick if you're not, you know, an elite per se. So of course, songwriters and producers, the people who actually write the songs, that produce the songs, basically make it great. And then a lot of these pop stars just come in and sing it. To be honest, a lot of them don't write their own music. I'm not saying they're not talented, but a lot of them like, your Beyonce's or stuff, you look at her, her list, she's got six, seven, eight, nine, ten producers, ten songwriters. It's like a factory farm. They take all the best people, they take all of the, the songwriters, they have hundreds of people writing the song, and then they pick the best one. It's literally like a factory, uh, a pop factory or, or a music factory. They're doing it in, in most major musicians, but not all. There's a lot of great people, and a lot of the people, to be honest, at fair, a lot of the people that do have songwriters, they're very talented too. They've just gotten to the point where they're like a corporation and they don't write their songs anymore because they want it the best or they're busy so I'm not I'm not hating on it that's just how it works but now in the new era there needed to be some sort of an update because streaming services are taking advantage of musicians labels have always taken advantage of musicians and now the streaming services are taking over the labels per se so now they're the new label and there needed to be a new bill according to a lot of my friends who are songwriters so what the music modernization act did was it allowed writers and artists to receive royalty royalties if their songs were made before 1972. So there's a lot of old stuff that was in the works that I guess people weren't being paid for. Now, uh, people that made songs before 1972 are able to easier and, and more efficiently re receive their royalties, or at all. They might have not been doing it at all. Also, it's allo allocating royalties for producers and updating licensing and royalty rules for streaming services to pay rights holders in a more streamlined fashion. So this is a big win for songwriters, big win for people who, who weren't getting paid properly or quickly enough, and everyone knows it. So I, I want to say, first off, I want to say the original name of it is the Orrin Hatch Bob Goodlett Music Modernization Act. So I know a lot of liberals and lefties... Uh, just being honest, they hate Orrin Hatch, they hate Republicans, but he helped push this through. President Trump signed it, so, I mean, it's nice to be a little appreciative sometimes, even if you don't agree with their politics. I'm intrigued to see how people will react because, like I said, a lot of people who really hate Trump have been pushing for this for a while, so it'll be interesting to see if they give him credit, if they say thank you. Me, I'm the type of person, even if I don't like Obama or Hillary, and I'm not gonna lie, I didn't even dislike Obama. A lot of the stuff that the modern left wing is doing, I didn't support his wars and a lot of creepy stuff he did, or oh, I thought Obamacare, to be honest, I think it was not, uh, it did not help working class families whatsoever. But I will say I didn't even hate on Obama. I, th I think he did a lot of things that, that modern day liberals don't even wanna do. They totally changed their tune after he left office. But I do wanna say, even if I disagreed with stuff that he did, if Obama did something or Hillary did something or you know George Bush did something that I actually agreed with, I have the ability to separate what I don't like and be like, you know what, I don't like that they did that and that and that, but thank you for doing this, I appreciate that. It's good to give people positive reinforcement because when you do positive reinforcement, especially with people like Trump, Trump is a total energy, he wants to be great, he wants to be loved. So if you egg them on to do good stuff, they're a lot more likely to do good stuff. If you just scream and hate on them all the time, and then you stay st silent when they do do good stuff. It shows a lot about who you are and your character and your soul and the type of person you really are, your integrity. If you're just trying to hate and complain, but when someone does something nice, you don't even want to say thank you and you don't want to pat them on the back or say good job. And that's how a lot of people are. They expect the world and the politicians and Trump and the elites to change, but they don't even have decency, integrity, or good spirits themselves. So that's why you find the modern day hypocrites all over the media and in the industries and, and the celebrities, because they're, they're all the worst types of people. And then they're hating on people that are slightly better than them, wondering why the world's not better, because you don't even have the decency to show love to someone who does something nice. And, and positive reinforcement and love, like my last segment with, with the Kanye West, that's what really gets people to do good things. It's not screaming, screeching, and making people tune you out. It's getting people to hear you and listen to you and really convincing them that it's the right thing to do. So the Music Modernization Act, 
very, very powerful, very good for uh, musicians. Uh, I, to be honest, I have to really study it further, but I, I know everyone, I, I have dozens of people I know in the industry, they were all pushing for this stuff. I really hope that even for a day, they can drop their very cold, bitter, sour mentality and show a little bit of love to the president for doing what they've been begging to do for two years, but I, I don't know that they will. I saw with James Comey, the liberal media said James Comey was to blame for the election. James Comey's horrible, they need to get rid of him. And then when they get rid of him, on Colbert's show, Colbert announces, hey, they got rid of James Comey. His whole audience started cheering because they thought that was good, getting rid of James Comey. That's what the media told him. And then like programmed robots, Colbert said, no, 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 that's bad. Trump's a dictator. And then everyone started booing. So just like that, they went from cheers to boos because people don't have any sort of integrity or truth to be like, you know what? I don't like Trump, but I liked he did that. That's why I don't, I, there's nothing that, that, that appeals to me from the Democratic Party. Besides all this huge outrage and mob mentality that they're creating, they're not doing anything right. They're not doing anything honest. All they wanna do is do the opposite of what Trump does and literally just disagree and divide people. I'm not saying the GOP is perfect, far from it. I think, a notor and I said this last night on my live stream that people are disagreeing with me. I'm not a fan of the GOP. I, I don't even like the GOP now that much per se. And a lot of Trump supporters don't like either. I think they've, they've been the left and right wing, starting the wars, doing all this stuff, hiding a lot of stuff. But now we have a new era where Trump is really tweaking them to make them slightly better. I'm not saying they're perfect yet, but Trump is improving them. Meanwhile, the Democrats are getting worse. So you have the GOP changing their tune because Trump is allowing them to with his power and his open mind, that's, that's different, and the Democrats are getting worse. All they have is this negativity. So all, all I'm saying is at least just be honest. I, even if you disagree or agree, if Trump does something good, just say it. And, and I do think on, on the scale to wrap it up, like I've said multiple times, but I'm gonna drive this, this home. If you show love and you, you, you speak to people kindly and calmly, it, it gets through to people way, way more than if you do it in a negative, nasty way and you will have more success in what you're trying to accomplish. Kanye is showing this. Many people around the world, I am showing this every single day and it really does work. And I, I wanna wrap up on the note too. I really, from the core of my soul, the message that I always, uh, I won't even say preach, but I talk about, it's very similar to very Eastern philosophy and even a lot of religions, even I'm sure it's in Christianity and Islam as well. You have to change yourself to change the world. Your body is your kingdom. I'm not perfect, I'm far from it. I'm sure you're not perfect either. Uh, I could probably guarantee it. But we have to focus on self-awareness, self-accountability and changing ourselves. There's too many people blaming everyone else. There's too many people hating and just throwing bad energy at everyone else. There's not enough people that are self-reflecting at least daily or weekly and being like, you know what? I'm making mistakes. I need to change myself. And when you do that, you actually change the world because if we replace Trump and we replace Hillary Clinton and we replace all these corrupt politicians uh, per se, it's not gonna be better, it's not gonna be utopia because we're going to be replacing these people with people that are just as bad, if not worse, because all the problems we see on the top of the pyramid, we also see on the bottom of the pyramid. There's a lot of stuff that is unprovoked. There's a lot of stuff that is provoked too by the media and politicians, but there's a lot of stuff, you could see it all over the place in stuff where there's no politics or no politicians to blame. There's still people doing all these nefarious, horrible things, so we have to on a spiritual level, change ourselves to change the world. Heal yourself to heal the world, because we have a lot of people pointing the finger, not enough people self-reflecting inside and really trying to make themselves better and start on a small scale. And that's where you get all this hypocrisy and all this negativity, because we expect people to do stuff that we can't even do ourselves. So if you really wanna help the world, look in internally, don't be so negative, don't be so hateful. There's a lot of liberals that are every bit as hateful and bitter and nasty and negative as the people that they don't like on the right. And there's also a lot of people on the right that are every, every bit as negative, nasty, bitter, and hateful as the people that they hate in the media and the celebrities. So if you really wanna make the world a better place, it starts on the bottom of the pyramid and then we work our way up. We don't tip over the pyramid, throw the baby out with the bathwater, and then realize we're just as scummy as the people at the top. So that's, that's how I feel. I, I hope you guys uh, uh, can consider that. All I ask for is your consideration. Thank you so much for your support. Patreon, DonorBox, free email list. These are going up on YouTube in two segments. Subscribe to me on YouTube. 
and check out and watch and share if you like the video I made about CNN and Kanye West. I think it's an important video uh, for people to see and just consider because uh, we're making a lot of gains. It's a beautiful day. I love what's happening with Trump and Kanye and it it's really is a great time to be alive. Yes, it could be better, but it could be much worse and I don't want it to get to the point where it is much worse and people realized how grateful we should be for food, water, shelter, and all of these luxuries we have here in this country that are absolutely not guaranteed and they are absolutely not uh, uh, you know, rights. I mean, we do have the right to them, but very quickly they could disappear and, and I don't want that to happen. So be grateful, stay blessed, and thank you guys so much for joining.